What's up guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Angelo and I'm gonna be taking you guys through my infamous keto iced coffee. Now in my previous video, I actually made this as a quick montage for you guys, but I had so many requests for people to say, hey, how do you make that iced coffee? It's perfect for the summer. And so I decided to make a separate video for you guys to show you step by step on how I make this coffee. Now I definitely did come up with this recipe. I think I found it on Pinterest or Instagram or something like that, but it is absolutely amazing. So if you guys are ready to get this video underway, let's get after it. All right guys, so to get this underway, I wanted to go over all the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. Um, you do need a coffee pot, believe it or not. I mean, you can go pick up coffee from the gas station if you want to, that would work out fine as well. Uh, but with that being said, I have the Ninja Coffee Bar. I got lucky enough that my pops bought this for me and my wife for Christmas this past year. Um, we've been using this like crazy. It's like a $200 coffee pot, but yeah, we guys definitely don't need something this fancy, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on one, so I brew this awesome coffee. Uh, next, you got to pick up your flavored syrup. Make sure when you're picking up the flavored syrup that you stick to the sugar-free kind. We use Terrainy. I think that's how you say the name. I don't know. I'm going to stick with that. I like it. Um, but get the sugar-free kind. It's only 5 milligrams of sodium per serving and the serving size is two tablespoons. So make sure you get the sugar-free kind though, but I can't tell you guys enough, this tastes way too amazing to be sugar-free. Um, so we get the salted caramel, but we also do the vanilla. The vanilla pairs with pretty much any other syrup. So I like to mix those together, get a little bit of different flavor profile. Um, and then heavy whipping cream. So we got this big jug of heavy whipping cream. We're drinking a lot more of these iced coffee, so I picked up the big one this time. Um, you do need a measuring, because you wanna make sure you measure out your stuff. You're counting your macros. I do one tablespoon. Um, so I'll show you what I measure out with that. And then last but not least, the McCafe Premium Roast Coffee. We go with the medium kind because I feel like if you go too dark on this one, you taste it a lot more. So I like to stick with the medium. I feel like it's an even playing field and it tastes perfect. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch camera views though so you guys get a little bit closer look at what we're going to do over here and how we're gonna brew this coffee. And then once we get it going, you guys will be able to see exactly what we got. Alright, so the coffee is currently brewing right now as you guys see, so I'm going to let that do its thing. But in the meantime, what I do while my coffee is brewing is I measure out my syrup. So we're going to start with the salted caramel. I always do two tablespoons of the salted caramel. And this, I mean, the macros for the, for the syrups are just, they're amazing. So um, you can really go more if you want, but I feel like if you do any more than that, it's too sweet. Um, so I'll do one and two. So I'll do that of the salted caramel. And then, like I mentioned, I put vanilla in there as well. So I'll just do one tablespoon of the vanilla. And I have a pretty big cup. I have the Yeti cup. I don't know if you guys ever heard of these before, but my wife got this for me for Christmas as well, <laughs> believe it or not. But it's awesome. Uh, keeps, the, keeps the ice really cold for quite a long time. Um, so after I put the syrup in there, though, I'm going to fill this glass up with ice. And then once I fill this up with ice, then we'll pour the coffee in. So I'll show you the guys here in just a second. All right, guys, so the coffee just got done brewing and I got my ice filled up. Um, you don't want to go too high with your ice because you want to make sure you can still stir it or shake it up. I have a lid that I can shake mine up a little bit with, but if you have a coffee cup that you can't shake, then make sure that you leave the ice a little bit further down. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to take the coffee and we're just going to go ahead and pour it over the ice. And even though mine's on an ice brew, it still brews a little warm, so it still melts some of the ice, which I kind of like that actually. Um, but I'll just go up a little bit below this line right here here so I can leave a little bit more extra room for my uh, heavy whipping cream. Now if you guys are tracking your macros like I do then you're going to go ahead and measure out the heavy whipping cream as well. If not you can eyeball it but I always suggest to track your macros. So we're going to do two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream which is usually perfect. All right two and I have two. I actually sometimes just go ahead and I'll use this as a stirring. All right, perfect guys, and then that's it. So let's go ahead and switch camera views again, and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. 
All right, guys, so we just wrapped up the infamous iced coffee. So let's get a quick taste test underway. Oh, it is absolutely perfect. So during the summertime, making this coffee at home, I am just so happy that I found this recipe. So once again, guys, you know, looking at this coffee, it's so easy to make and it's so inexpensive. It only cost me like five bucks for the syrup, three bucks for the uh, heavy whipping cream, and I've already had the coffee, so it's not a huge investment to make this at home. I was spending like $3.50 per coffee at Starbucks, and they don't know the definition of light heavy whipping cream. So I was always afraid of getting knocked out of ketosis with Starbucks, so being able to make this drink at home and not have to worry about getting knocked out, it's just perfect. So if you guys haven't made this yet, give it a try. Even if you don't like coffee, it is so perfect. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys like this style of video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. It allows this video to reach that many more people so they can try the awesome iced coffee. Uh, but if you guys have not subscribed yet and you're new to the channel, go ahead and do that as well for me. And if there's any specific content that you guys want to see, you got to leave me a comment below so I know what you guys want to see next. But thank you guys again so much for watching my video. If you guys do end up making this drink though, go ahead and share it on my social media page. I'll go ahead and drop that right now for you. If you guys wanna know what the macros are for this specific uh, drink though, I will go ahead and leave that in the description box for you as well as all the ingredients once again. But thank you guys again for watching my content and I look forward to seeing you guys at the very next video. For that, we are out. Peace.